couple different ways to learn magic tricks. One way is you buy a DVD and copy how somebody else does it, match their mannerisms, their voice, their very intonation, and you have learned very little of value. If, on the other hand, you decide to go and read a magic book, like the Di Vernon Book of Magic, or the Stars of Magic, or Luca and the New Tops, all three of those books have handlings of what's called the three ball trick. Now, this isn't any of those routines that are in those great books, and I'm sure that John Scarney, John Luca, and Di Vernon would do it much better than me. Nonetheless, I worked a little bit of their magic, and I like to think this piece has become a little bit of my magic. Two balls in one hand, one goes in the pocket. Now they call it the three ball trick, a bunch of things they call it chroma balls. I call my version of this trick pawnbroker syndrome. Three balls, ah, never mind. Um, it doesn't really matter which one you take away, because these guys are attracted to each other. They're not magnetic. It's more of a boy likes girl likes transvestite sort of arrangement. Yeah, the three balls just keep coming back. Now, so far I put the red one away. I put the green one away. I think we'll put the white one away here. And I've still got the two balls here. I give them a little squeeze. How do I get that third ball to come back? Just like that. I give it a little toss. Well, actually, I put all three balls in my pocket. This is uh, pawnbroker syndrome. My name is Kent Gunn. That trick comes from the work mostly of Milton Court via John Luca in the book Luca and the New Tops. There's some handling from the Vernon routine. And I first learned the trick from the Stars of Magic. It's the first trick in the book by John Scarney. Read some books. Maybe someday you'll, uh, you'll quit buying videos.